Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be doing a review of the new Lucid Sound LS35X headset for Xbox One. This is part two in a series of the currently available Direct Connect wireless headsets for Xbox One. These being the Turtle Beach Stealth 600, the Turtle Beach Stealth 700, the Razor Thresher, and of course, the Lucid Sound LS35X. Lucid Sound is the last to enter this pool of Direct Connect headsets for Xbox One. Originally, the LS35X was supposed to release in December of last year, but it faced a series of delays and ultimately wasn't released until early October this year. The other headsets here all released last year. During these delays, Lucid Sound assured customers that the wait would be worth it, and for the most part, I agree. All right, let's talk about what comes inside of the box. For a limited time, Lucid Sound is including a free hard case with the LS35X. But doing this is a kind of apology for the numerous delays that they had before release. Out of the main box, we find the hard case with the headset, a manual, and a warranty card. Inside of the hard case, we're greeted with the headset itself. In addition to easy storage and protection for the headset, the hard case also has a mesh pouch inside which can house the detachable boom microphone, the charging cable, the included 3.5mm cable, and also a small cover for the microphone port when the detachable microphone is not in use. I don't like to throw the word premium around too much, but the LS35X looks and feels it. This is the epitome of non-gamer headsets. With maybe just a bit of extra bulk, it looks very much like a set of everyday headphones and does not have any aggressive gamery styling or RGB lighting. The metal frame feels solid and looks sleek. The top headband is blazoned with lucid sound across the top, and the cushion has some pattern stitching for a touch of flare. The removable ear cups swivel for fit and rotate 90 degrees to be laid flat. The memory foam ear cushions are not the thickest in size, but are deceptively dense when worn. The size adjusts on a slider on the headband. The controls are unique with large wheels on the outside of the ear cups controlling the master volume on the left and the game and chat balance on the right. A quick press of the right ear cup mutes the microphone, which has a red indicator to let you know it's muted. A long press of the right ear cup turns on or off mic monitoring. A quick press of the left ear cup mutes the game sound. On the bottom of the left side is the power button, the charging port, the 3.5mm port, and the port for the removable boom microphone for multiplayer chat. The headset also has a discrete built-in microphone, which can be used for calls on your phone when utilizing the 3.5mm cable on the go. The right ear cup is home to the pairing button. The pairing process for this headset is as simple as connecting a controller and requires no USB dongle or base station. The LS35X is amazingly comfortable. Despite the cushions not looking the thickest, they're just the right density. This headset almost feels like it floats on the top of my head, and after I wear it for a while, I almost forget it's there. I can wear it for hours without any discomfort, which goes along nicely with the battery life, which Lucid Sound claims to be about 20 hours, and I don't doubt them. The sound on the LS35X is pretty good. However, there is no adjustable EQ or presets, so what you get is what you get. Fortunately, the stock sound signature sounds really good. The mids and highs come in clear, the bass is punchy, but sometimes it extends just a little too much into the mid-range, but not so much so that it muddies the sound to any significant degree. I test the LS35X across a wide variety of games and music, and they sound good across the board, but they excel in boomy shooters and more bass-centric music. They aren't as clear and spacious sounding as, say, the Sennheiser game series, but they are really rich and fun to listen to. When combined with Windows Sonic or Dolby Atmos, the positional detection of the LS35X really shines through. On Ghost Recon Wildlands, I was really impressed by not only being able to determine the direction of gunfire and footsteps, but also getting a strong sense of the distance, too. On Call of Duty World War II, I was easily able to discern when an opponent was coming around the corner in front of me and allowing me to get prepared. One thing I really love about this headset is it gets loud, which really helps with the immersion and the content you're listening to. Alright, let's do a microphone test. The detachable boom microphone has good voice reproduction when transmitted. It can be a little picky on placement though, and it'll pick up breathing like crazy in one spot, but just a slight readjustment and it won't pick up any background noise at all. Along the same lines, placement has a huge impact on the overall volume that it transmits at. The mic monitoring is functional, but it's pretty weak. Alright, now I'm using the built-in discrete microphone that's ideal for mobile calls when using the 3.5mm cable with your phone. It's not as rich or uh, clear as the boom microphone, but it does a pretty good job. The LS35X does have some downsides. First, I've noticed after extended sessions of listening to complex music or bass-heavy games that I'll get a lot of distortion around 90% or higher in volume. Now if I turn the headset off and come back to it after a while, the distortion will be gone, but after a while it'll come back. 
I've also noticed that during extended play sessions that the headset will start to drop from the console for a second or two at a time before reconnecting itself. I've only really noticed this after playing for a couple of hours at a time, but it's pretty annoying. Another issue is the range. My console is in the living room, and if I go into the next room over and put a wall between the headset and the console, the headset will completely disconnect and I'll have to do a power cycle to get it to reconnect. Another small nuisance is the balance between the master volume and the game chat. It's really touchy and it can be really hard to find that sweet spot of the balance. For the asking price, I would like to have some sort of adjustable EQ or different sound presets, but on the plus side, at the moment, it at least comes with the hard case to add some value. As for the asking price at $180, the LS35X finds itself in a strange middle ground between mid-range and high-end pricing. It's not as feature-rich as, say, the more expensive Astro A50, but it's more expensive than the comparably featured Razer Thresher. The LS35X will also soon be facing competition from Lucid Sound's own LS41 headset, which will wirelessly connect to Xbox One, PS4, and PC, and it'll also include DTS Headphone X, and is only going to be $20 more. Now, the LS35X can connect to those other systems, either with the included 3.5mm cable or wirelessly to the PC, if you get the Microsoft wireless adapter for Windows 10. Overall, I really like the LS35X. It's a great balance between sound, build quality, and features. I reached out to Lucid Sound concerning the temporary connection drops and the distortion I've experienced, and they got back to me and they told me that a firmware update is in the works for the connection issues, but they didn't address the distortion. I also hope Lucid Sound considers making the hard case a permanent addition as it really does add some value to the price. That wraps up this video. Let me know of any suggestions you have in the comments. And be sure to subscribe and come back over the next couple of weeks and check out my reviews of the LS35X's competitors, the Turtle Beach Stealth 700, the Razor Thresher, and my review of the Turtle Beach Stealth 600 is available now. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.